Welcome to the tutorial to integrate VR Interaction Framework from BNG. The excellent interaction framework, it's really good. Um, <clears throat> consider buying it on the Asset Store. So, what I did is I've dragged in the default XR rig advanced from BNG. It's a prefab in their asset. And I turned off the dynamic lights that are in the rig. We don't need them. Um, I also turned off head collision for now. Uh, not to complicate this tutorial, I'm sure you'll find a way around the head collision fading in and out if you pass through the, the tunnel. It's a matter of adding the colliders uh, of the walls the moment you touch it to this list. And you'll need to add a custom little script to do so, but that's easy enough. Okay, let's start. So by default, we haven't changed anything. When we try to enter a portal, this happens, which is to be expected. Our rig is um, a rig which is uh, based on physics, so we can't pass through this wall and this portal is just in front of this wall. We also see that our hands are being cut off, which is normal, it's just clipping inside of the wall. And if we try to take this this stick, then it does the same thing. It just stops stops us from walking through. So we want to change all that. We need to find the center eye anchor because the camera, the middle of the camera, that's the point where we want to transport through the portal. We want to portal through the portal when the center eye anchor passes through the plane of the portal. So just last, like last time, we add a portalable object to the camera and it's complaining that it doesn't have a collider on this object. Maybe to keep it clean, let's add another, another game object and add a sphere collider to that one. It doesn't need, no, let's make it a Capsule Collider, sorry about that, not too big. So what happens is the portal, portal has a collider as well. So the center collider here, once our object that we want to portal through touches this collider, the, um, the wall behind it, the collision with it will be turned off. So you want something that hits it, but it doesn't hit it when you walk in, in this part. So that's why with our custom portals that we made in the first or the second tutorial, I made the collider for them a bit smaller than the actual doorway. So when our capsule collider here hits it, we don't want it to be like a meter wide or something, because then we'll be able to walk past it from the side. So point one is fine. We want to be able to fall through the floor if we if we make a portal on the floor as well. So um, maybe make sure this hits hits the floor, especially when we duck. Um, could be a bit bigger even. Okay, so that's fine. Capsule collider and then we need our portalable object. And now this is important. We don't want to just portal this object. We want to portal the whole player controller. So we drag in the player controller in this slot. And then another important part is this is the master portalable object. Turn on if this is your player controller, which it is. So we turn this on. So let's test. All right, let's try and walk through. Our hands are clipping, we don't want that, but we can portal through perfectly without any glitches. Okay, great. So now what to do about those hands? Let's find for the BNG framework our models left and models right game objects. These contain for all of the hand models that are included with BNG, 
all of the meshes, the skin mesh renderers of the hands. And we want them to be cloned as we pass them through our portal. And so it's just a matter of adding a clone renderer to those. And let's press play again. All right, so now you can see how there's a clone right, right here. The clone also takes on the animation. So if we, if we move the real one, the cloned one moves as, well, moves as well. And it's very hard to see here because the lighting conditions are pretty much the same, but now half of my hand is in, half of it is out, and it just matches perfectly. All right, so the illusion is complete. In VR, there's no glitching, no clipping whatsoever. Um, this is the default rig. Uh, I can even increase <coughs> the camera's near clipping plane. I actually like it to be a bit further along uh, on Quest, especially because elements which are close together start to do some Z fighting and uh, a larger near clipping value helps with that. So 0.5 to me is, is like a better Better, uh, better way to, to do this. And my hand exited the collider here for a second. That's why it glitched. Okay, so perfect. Yeah, looks good. Okay, next. We want to grab. Whoa. We want to grab the stick and be able to pass that one through or throw it through, which is currently not possible. So. Same thing, same thing basically, we just want this stick, the staff, to have a portalable object. It's the root element, so no need to drag this in. And let's press play again. All right, so Obviously, we need a clone render, but this doesn't look good, right? So the stick is transporting while we're still holding it and stuff starts glitching around. It's even stuck behind the wall now. So how do we fix that? Luckily, PNG has a few very easy um, functions and we have our events for pre-portal and a post-portal event. So let's drag in the grabbable in these slots. And the grabbable has a method lock grabbable. This function is used by BNG's transporter, you know, the, 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 the regular transporter that comes with BNG. It uses this function to make sure that if you transport, everything sticks to your hands. So we're using the same functions. And after we portal, we need to tell it to uh, unlock the grabbable after we've locked it. All right, and then remember we set is master portable object on the camera rig. Now we want this thing, if we grab it, to portal along with the master. So let's not do that for a second and see what it does without that. Grab it. Walk through, not, a, not perfect, right? No, that's not what we want. So we need more. Again, PNG has a method grabbable unity events with an on grab and an on release, and we'll need both. On grab. We want our portalable object to no longer portal on its own once it passes through the portal, but we want it to portal along with the master portalable. And after we release it, imagine throwing it, then we do want it to portal on its own and no longer portal with the master portalable. So that, that should be it.
it's not jumping away. And once we pass through it, it's here. Now, obviously, we don't want it to be, you know, going away here. Uh, we, we need to clone render. So let's fix that first. Clone render. And I don't know if you remember, but one important thing for the clone render to work, and I already did that on the hands, is the material. Um, no, let's let's press play first. Looks perfect, right? Except for this. See on the other end, if we press pause. Ah, pause made it release first. It's you see how on the other side of our portal, so the real stick is here. The fake stick is here, looks good. However, the fake stick is also here. So this is the clone which is not being clipped. And you can actually see it from here. Um, once we start um, with the game and we grab it again, we can actually see it right here. So that's not what we want. And in order to fix that, we need to change from the Universal Render Pipeline's lit material to the cutoff shader for cloned portables lit. Now, one very important thing, which I'm sure is going to be forgotten a million times, alpha clipping needs to be turned on. Um, you, you can see how I didn't change any of these slots. By default, all the names have been copied. So a uh, lit material should be um, switched out perfectly without any um, extra work on your end. Grab, walk through, <laughs> make sure I don't hit the wall. It's a bit bigger collided here, which lets us pass through. Okay, perfect. See if we can throw it through. Yeah, great. All right, so that's it. Um, this is the basics of the BNG integration. Um, now it's just a matter of building this to Quest or uh, you know testing with Link on the PC and everything should work without any glitches. And you can do the same for guns, for whatever asset is in here. Um, sometimes it might be a bit more complex, but now that you understand the basics, um, <clears throat> you should be able to throw pretty much everything through the portals. Thanks for watching.